All right, Shalom, Shalom, Akim. All right, first I'd like to give all praises and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Kakadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well and taught me its truth. And Shalom to all the brothers out there through the four corners of the earth, pushing this word in all righteousness and sincerity. Shalom. Brother Kazapa from GMS Raleigh, North Carolina, come back with you another quick lesson through the Spirit Power Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. And, um, this lesson is going to mainly like to trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. You know, probably going to be like a Hebrew Israelite one on one, you know, because uh, this is a, a essential, man. OK, you know, for us to trust in Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, our power, man. OK, so with that um, <clears throat> first scripture I want to get is uh, Psalm 62. And I'm going to start at verse five. It says, my soul, wait, thou only upon Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, kind. And that's, you know, really the men of the Lord on the, in these days, man, we're waiting on Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, only Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, okay? You know, and this is a, <clears throat> a Psalm of David, man, all right? All right? And Lord's will be part of the elect. We are the house of David, man, all right? So, you know, the re reading the Psalms is very, uh, is very uh, important because you get a mindset of how King David, all right, the, the head um, you know, disciple, okay, you know, uh, well, <laughs> I said that, the, the apple of the Lord's eye, and then, and reincarnation of Peter, all right, which, um, you know, which he, you know, Peter was King David in reincarnation, um, <clears throat> he's the, the head of the church, he was the head of the church, you know, under Yahweh Shai, okay, and, um, he was the head disciple, so, see what mind frame, his spirit, what, um, spirit he always had, man, all right, it says, um, <clears throat> says, my soul, wait thou only upon Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay. All right. So King David, the my frame of, I'm going to wait what he says. Okay. What he does. All right. And that should be our same mind frame, mind frame as us, as the hopeful elect. Lord's one will be a part of that number. Okay. It says, for my expectation is from him. Kind, all right. We have an expectation from Yahweh Bashim Shai according to what he said. All right, according to the scriptures, the Lord said, Those that endure into the end, the same shall be saved. That's the expectation. So, if we endure to the end, the expectation that we have of the Lord is that we're going to receive salvation. Okay, all right. So, we have to trust in Yahweh and in his word. That's the King James, um, you know, 1611 Bible with the Apocrypha. Okay. It says, verse six, it says, he only is my rock <clears throat> and my salvation kind. All right. Yahweh Bashim al is our rock and our salvation. All right. You know, for the elected nation of Israel, man. All right. You know, when, when um, somebody uh, refers to themselves as a, as a rock, it's a solid object that's hard to move. Okay. All right. That is unmovable. Okay? All right. So yeah, is that object. That is unmovable, man. He is our rock, man. He's the thing that holds us down, man. All right? You know, that's Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, okay? It says, he only is my rock and my salvation, kind, all right? Because Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is also our salvation, man, okay? You know, through him, only through him will, be, will we be saved, man. All right? We won't be saved through any other other power man all these other false gods and false idols out here will not be able to be able to save you in the time of trouble okay only yahweh bashim al shah be able to save us in the time of our troubles man okay all right matter of fact let me see if i can quickly find something <clears throat> just to prove a point um here it is this is uh psalm 68 and uh 20 he says he that is our power which is yahweh bashim al shah all right it says is the power of salvation kind all right lord is the power of salvation man. all right salvation comes from Al Shai and no other man okay our power the power of the Israelites you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans all right who are Israelites according to the seed of your father man all right you know our power is Yahweh Bashim Al Shai he's the only power of salvation okay it says <clears throat> and until the, the most high Yahweh Bashim Al Shai belongs to the issues of death kind so the Lord the, um, controls the issues of death all right he chooses who dies and who doesn't man 
All right, so the Lord's will be a part of let we don't die and that we be saved, man. All right, because two thirds of the nation of Israel, all right, are gonna be put to death on this side, man. Okay, they're gonna die on this side, man. All right, and they don't trust in Yahweh by Shimon Shai. All right, that's main, one of the main reasons they don't come back to their heritage, to their true power, and worship Him in sincerity and truth, man. All right, in sincerity. All right, let the 100,000 men are prophets. All right, and and the one third men, women, and children. All right, they believe and call upon the name of Yahweh by Shema Shah. Therefore, they will be saved. All right, they're waiting, um, and their expectation is Yahweh by Shema Shah. They're waiting to see what he does to what to what uh what he says in these scriptures, man. Okay, it says um, going back to uh Psalm sixty uh two, and um <clears throat> and uh, the rest of six, it says. He is my defense, kind, all right? He is my defense, all right? Yahweh Shema Shai is our defense, man, all right? And if you don't trust in Yahweh Shema Shai, you're not going to be defended in, in these last days, man, all right? And matter of fact, I'm going to get that scripture. <clears throat> Let's see. Um, it's the book of uh, Ecclesiasticus, also known as a rock. Two. I believe it's verse 13, if I'm not mistaken. Kind. It's uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 2, verse 13, and it reads, Woe unto him that is faint-hearted. Kind. All right, faint-hearted basically means cowardly, you know, you not trusting, you know, uh, a weak. All right, woe unto you that are faint-hearted, weak, not trusting your how about you? It says, for he, for he believe if not, kind, you don't believe in Yahweh Bashim Yashai. His power, all right? His omnipotency, which we're going to get that scripture, which means unlimited power, all right? These are the reasons why we trust in Yahweh Bashim Yashai, because we know that he, there's no limit to what he can do, okay? All things are possible in Yahweh Bashim Yashai, okay? All right? But you got to believe that for, you know, you know, you got to believe that because that's what's written. It's so faithful and true, as we say, man. But you got to believe, if you don't believe, you're not going to be defended, man. All right, the Lord's not going to be your defense, as it reads here in um, uh, Psalm 62 and 6. It says, he is my defense, okay? How is he your defense? If you believe on him, okay? Now, going back to the scripture, this is Ecclesiastes, it's also known as Sirach in the Apocrypha, chapter 2, verse 13. I'm going to read it again. It says, woe unto him that is faint-hearted, for he believeth not. Therefore, he, therefore shall he not be defended. Kind. So if you are faint-hearted and you don't believe, all right, you're not going to be defended, okay? The Lord is not going to defend someone who doesn't trust in his power, all right? His omnipotency, all right? His unlimited power, man. The scripture said the Lord has unlimited power to do anything, okay? As a matter of fact, we're going to get that scripture. Let me see. Let's see. And that's in the scripture twice, man. All right, the Lord is omnipotent. Okay, this is a uh, Ecclesiasticus uh, chapter nineteen, verse twenty. It says, "The fear of Yahweh is all wisdom." Kind, you fearing the Lord is all wisdom. Okay, all right. Which, <laughs> to, when you fear the Lord, you also trust in Him. That if you keep that fear, He's gonna protect you. Okay, all right. Let's say, look at our your forefathers, man. All right, which to the spirit after this, I'm gonna get that. All right, <clears throat> it says, um, it says the fear of Yahweh is the, is all wisdom and in all wisdom is the perfection of the law and the knowledge of his omnipotency kind. All right. So the fear of you, fear how about Shema Shai is all wisdom. Okay. You know that wisdom is the performance of the law. All right, so we practice the law, statute, commandments to the best of our ability because we fear Yahweh Hashem Yahushai and the judgments if we don't. All right, but we know through that we have the knowledge of His omnipotency. All right, which means unlimited power when you look up the word. Okay, all right, the Lord has unlimited power to do anything. Okay, and stuff, you know, and that's what our forefathers believed in, man. They believed that Yahweh Hashem Yahushai was able to do anything, man. Okay, all right. As a matter of fact, let's see if I can get this scripture. Um, let's see. 
I believe this is in, it's in Second Maccabees. Um, matter of fact, I'm gonna get the one in uh, Ecclesiastes two first. It's Ecclesiastes two and uh, ten. It says, "Look at the generations of old and see, did ever any trust in Yahweh by Shemuel was found it kind? Did any Yahweh by Shemuel confound it was with the shame? All right, you know, to be found uh, uh was Yahweh by Shemuel Shai found to be a liar to put his men to shame? No." All right, look at the men of men, men of old, our, our, our righteous ancient forefathers, man. Okay, you know, Noah, you know, Isaiah, Ezekiel. Okay, you know, um, 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 uh, the three holy children. <laughs> you know, I can't think, I can't remember how to say their names. You know, the Babylon. All right, you know, the ones that was in a fire pit. Daniel, you know, you know. <laughs> The you know the many servants of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai the prophets man, all right they all trusting Yahweh by Shemuel Shai and was never confounded man. The Lord always came through for what when he's what he said he was gonna do man. He always came through and they trusted on him. Okay, it says did any abide in his fear and was forsaken kind. So they trusted him. Like I said, I call it, the spirit. I call these the big three because there's three attributes of men the Lord is gonna, he's gonna have. Yahweh by Shemuel Shai was faith. Okay. All right, which we're going into in this lesson. All right, it says the fear of the Lord. All right, for the fear of the Lord had them not forsaken. Okay, and it says, um, uh, remember the fear, the fear of the Lord is all wisdom. Okay, and the knowledge of His omnipotency. All right, <laughs> His unlimited power. So you fear the Lord, you know He has unlimited power, and you trust in that man. Okay, so trust, faith, fear. It says. Him. You got to call upon the name of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai, all right? Yahweh being the true name of the Heavenly Father, all right? And Yahweh Shai being the true name of who the world and he calls Jesus Christ, all right? This is the things that our ancient forefathers did, man, all right? They had those big three, faith, fear, and calling upon the name, okay? You know? And that's what the elect of the nation of Israel is going to do, you know, in these days, man, all right? Especially in the time of Jacob's trouble that's coming up really fast, approaching us, you know, very quickly, all right? Persecution, that all that to the time of the the, the Israel will have faith on him, or Yahweh Bashim Shai, fear him because they know his omnipotency. All right, so they know that he has unlimited power, so they trust in that faith in that. Okay, and they call upon his name. All right, to call upon the name of the Lord truthfully. All right, you gotta have faith. You gotta you gotta believe. All right, that that name is gonna get you saved, and that 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 through that name. He's able to do, you're able to do anything, man. All right. You know, it says, <clears throat> and did he ever call upon him? And look at all our ancient forefathers. None of them, man. All right. They all trusted in Yahweh Shem Al Shai, had faith. All right. Through the craziest situations, man. All right. Had faith, feared him, all right. Feared to disobey him. All right. And <clears throat> they say, which was wisdom because they, Know that he has omnipotency, all unlimited power to do anything. Okay, and then they called upon his name, all right, which is Yahweh Baha Yahweh Shai. That's true names. Of they call his name with fear, and 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 trust and faith, man. Okay, all right, that's what got them out of all the situations that they were in. All right, so <laughs> we should always fear Yahweh Baha Shai. All right, let me see. Um. Uh, let's see if I can find the uh, the one in Maccabees. From, hopefully, I can find that. Let's see. So as well, I'll be able to find it really fast. <clears throat> I'm trying to find it. I can I know it's here somewhere. Let's see. That might be for it might have to be for another <clears throat> another lesson, you know, stuff. But um yeah. 
that might have to be for another lesson. But yeah, you know, our ancient forefathers all believed in Yahweh by Shai. All right. And like I said, we go into the Psalms and King David was one of them. All right. King David was one of our, our ancient forefathers that believed and trusted in Yahweh by Shai, man. All right. And knew that the Lord was his defense, man. So why? Because he trusted in him. And we read, like we read in scripture. And Ecclesiastes is also known as Sirach, chapter 2, verse 13, that if you're faint-hearted and you, you don't believe, all right, you're, you're, you're coward in the Lord, that he's not going to defend you, okay? All our ancient forefathers were not cowardly. They were bold in the Lord, man. They were bold in Yahweh by Shemal Shai, okay? Had extreme confidence, man, okay? And don't let Satan <laughs> make you think that your confidence in Yahweh by Shemal Shai is pride. It's totally different, two, di two different things, man, all right? We are confident in the power of Yahweh by Shemal Shai because we believe that he has all power, all right? Unlimited power. It says, this is a Psalm 62 and 6. He says, he only is my, is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be moved, kind, all right? Yeah, the Lord is our defense, man, so we shall not be moved, man. As the scripture says, the Lord before us, who could be against us? Matter of fact, that's, I, I like that scripture. <laughs> let's see. Let's get it. Okay, here it is. This is Romans chapter 8, verse 31. What shall we then say to to these things? If the most high how shall I be who can be against this high? All right. And <laughs> and our forefathers knew that, man. If you how about shall I be for us, all right, because the Lord is for us if we if we trust in him, but the Lord is for his elect, and his elect trust in his name. Okay. They trust and believe that, you know, um in his omnipotency, his unlimited power, man. All right, so that's why they're defended, man, and they shall not be moved, man. All right, because the Lord is for us, man. All right, it says, verse seven, time the Lord is going to give us glory after He gets His glory, man. All right, but the Lord is going to give us glory for trusting and believing in Him. Lord's will would be a part of the number, the elect. All right, the one hundred forty-four thousand and one third. Okay, you know it says. The rock of my strength, my refuge is in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, kind. All right, and refugees, they go to a place uh, 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 for safe haven, all right? So Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is our safe haven, okay? Our safe house, okay? From all this trouble that's going to be going on, man. All right, even now on a low level, the Lord is our safe haven, man. All right, pray to the Lord before you go in the car. The Lord keeps the car safe, man, with his angels, man. All right? Praise to the Lord of things that you need. He's going to give it to you, man. All right. You know, but we just got to trust and have faith in him, man, that he's going to do all of these things. Okay. It says, um, verse eight, it says, trust in him at all times. Kind. We're supposed to trust in the Lord at all times. And, you know, uh, this lesson is first to myself. Okay. You know, to trust in the Lord at all times, not once doubting, man. We got to have that, man. All right. You know, we got to have the same, um, of faith, all right, as the centurion that came to Yahweh Shai looking for his, his servant to be healed, all right, you know, matter of fact, I'm gonna get that to the spirit because that one important that you slowly, like brother say, you you read slowly, man, all right, because you, you'll see things, um, and um, through the spirit, okay, what was going on, <clears throat> and let me see, uh. Let me see. I think. Let's see. Eight. Oh, kind. Here it is. This is um Matthew. See, the book of Matthew, chapter eight. Um, verse five. It says, "And when Yahushai was entered in Capernaum." <clears throat> There came him a centurion, all right, a soldier, okay? It says, beseeching him, all right? So he's begging Yahweh Shai. It says, and saying, Lord, 
my my servant life in bed sick of palsy, gravely tormented. All right, so the, he had a, you know the palsy. Okay, that was being tormented in the flesh. It says, it says Yahweh shall save unto him. I will come and heal him. All right, and this is the faith. What you're about to read, Akim, this is the faith that we have to exempt, exhibit, man. Okay? You know, it says, the centurion answered, he says, and said, Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldst come under my roof, but speak the word only, and my servant shall be healed. All right? So leave so far, Lord, man, that, hey, Lord, <clears throat> just speak it, and I know he'll be healed. You know, you, you, I'm not worthy for you to come under my roof. So you, please just speak it. And I know that my servant will be healed, man. So that's the same type of faith that we got to have in Yahweh by Shema Shai. Trust in him, in him at all times, man. All right. Not doubting at all. All right. This centurion showed great faith, man. All right. Just off the word only. You hearing the word, man. All right. You, we know in these scriptures. Right. All right. Because the word is Yahweh Shai. Right? We know in these scriptures. We must know at all times, man. Centurion, he he said it himself. All right, I'm gonna read it again. It says, and it says the centurion answered and said, "Lord, I am not worthy that thou come, that thou shouldest come under my roof, but speak thou only, and my servant shall be healed, for I am a man of under, <clears throat> for I am a man under authority, having certain soldiers under me, and I say to this man go." And he goeth, and <clears throat> to another come, and he cometh, and my servants, and to my servant, do this, and he doeth. All right, so hey man, <laughs> he had faith in the Lord, man. He had the faith that the Lord said, you know, hey man, you know, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, if you're saying it, I know he'll be healed, man. All right, and we're gonna hear Yahweh Shai's um um. Um, answer to this man. All right, it says, "When Yahushai heard it, he marvelled, and said unto them that followed, Verily I say unto you, I have not found so great faith, not, no, not in Israel kind. All right, so the Lord is saying this man has great faith. All right, because he he even had, had the Lord to come physically there, man." All right, and 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 show his physical presence for him to believe that a miracle was gonna be performed, okay. And as scripture you keep on going, it says in that same self hour that that the servant was healed. All right, but through that man's faith, okay, he believed the, the when the Lord said it was gonna happen, it was gonna happen. All right, that the Lord didn't even have to come physically, man. And that's the same thing that we gotta have now, man. All right, the Lord is not physically here yet, you know. But we got to have faith that whatever he said he was going to do, that he's going to do it, man. All right? You know? <laughs> hey, that's a, it's a beautiful example, man. He believed, you know, just by the words of Yahashua, that he'll be here. Things will happen. He believed in the omnipotency of Yahweh by Shem All right? All right? It says, um, <clears throat> now going back to Psalms uh, 62 and 8. It says, trust in him at all times, ye people, kind, talking to our people, man, all right? And we don't know mainly the elect are going to believe, so to the to the elect, believe in Yahweh Bashim al Shai at all times, all right? You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, through the seed of your father, you know, who's, who's who are Israelites, all right? Whatever your perspective tribes you go back to, the elect of you, all right? Trust in Yahweh Bashim al Shai at all times because he has the unlimited power all right omnipotency all right he's able to do anything and everything man okay it says <clears throat> it says ye people pour out your heart before him kind that is heart is live out your mind before the lord it says most high is a refuge for us for us the lord is a refuge for us lords will be a part of the number he's a refuge for the elect all right a safe haven for the elect okay all right, so if we trust in him, have the same faith, exhibit the same faith as the centurion, all right, just by him, he, he's like, hey, Lord, I know if you just say the word, my servant will be healed. You don't got to come physically. I just got to hear you say it, and I know how. Hey, we're here to work with you. How about you outside with these scriptures? 
we're reading them. So we know it's going to happen, man. All right. You see all the prophecies coming to pass. All right. And the Lord said it. All right. So how much more when he said that he's going to protect his elect. Okay. Do, you know, throughout, um, do, do, during Jacob's trouble. All right. That he's going to have the archangel Michael protect his elect, man. Come, you know, <laughs> you know, your brother's getting hyped, but Hey man, this is the thing that the Lord said. And, you know, of course I'm talking to myself first. And Dwadi Abashim Al Shai for putting the spirit on me to do this lesson, man. Because, hey, a brother, uh, one brother might need to hear it. Okay, you know, I know I need to hear it. My Al Abashim Al Shai telling us to believe in him at all times because he's able to do anything. All right, and uh, let me see. I'm gonna jump down to verse uh, uh, eleven and end it off on that. It says. This verse 11 says, The Most High has spoken it once. Twice have I heard this, that power belongeth unto the Most High, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Kind, all right? All power, and all, you know, it belongs unto our, our power, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Our power is salvation, man. All right? And he, he gives out the issues of death, which the elect won't, you know, <laughs> won't, won't perish, you know, uh, be destroyed, man. All right? You know? And stuff so hey bro just to show the akim hey man we must trust in the lord speaking to myself first at all times and believe in his omnipotency so with that i hope this lesson was edifying to the elect i'd like to give all praises and glory to you how about shimmy all shy by shimmy all kadash all right you know of course i want to the apostles and elders. double honor slaki to the apostles and elders a great millstone who rule well and taught me this truth and shallow to all the brothers out there through the four corners of the earth Pushing this word in our righteousness sincerity to the elect that believe. Shalom.